Hi Aries, it's Sahara Stars with Illum Astrology and Tarot doing your second half of October 2020 overall reading of what you can expect. Um, I will be doing a situational reading or a love reading uh, also, but this is for the second half. Uh, if you haven't checked out the first half, do check it out in my playlist for October. Um, I also did a situational reading also for you guys, so check out that one if you haven't already. And also, um, please keep in mind these are general. They won't resonate with all of you. And if it doesn't resonate, check out your rising or your moon sign. And sometimes check them out anyway because astrological influences and transits that are occurring for you guys um, it will be according to your rising sign and your sun sign. So check out those at least, okay? Um, if you like personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. All right, so what's to come for Aries? Please give me the most accurate messages for Aries for the second half of October 2020. All right, so, whoa, we got the foundation of life. Uh, by the way, I'm using a new deck. Uh, this is the Wildwood Tarot. It's deep. Uh, it's spiritual. It's, it's, it's a very interesting deck that I love to work with. So I'm working with it on the second half for you guys. So this is about building a new foundation. This is about really grounding yourself and finding out what really matters and working towards it, okay? And this is something solid starting. Hang on a second, I gotta go grab something. All right, so this is the Ace of Stones, a foundation of life. This is setting up foundations. Some of you may be starting something new. Some of you may be building a new house. Some of you may be in some way the second half of October, starting something or being concerned about something, you know, wanting to have stability, wanting to have stability. And there's going to be an opportunity that presents itself. It's an ace. Okay. So let's take a look at what else we have for Aries. What else does Aries have the second half of October? Again, keep in mind that it, the timing could be later for some of you. It could be October, November, I mean, November, December, because it all depends on what degree your sun sign is at or rising sign but I do see you guys in the second half of October for this particular reading really focused on foundations on solid foundations on grounding yourself and on getting balance whoa we got another flyer I love it when they just fly out like that wow we got the green woman now for some of you this is actually a person okay that could be playing a role in the second half of October this person is a really strong communicator. They are very capable, okay? They know how to work with energies or they, they're very perceptive. They're very intuitive. They're very insightful. Um, but I feel like this is actually getting very grounded for a lot of you. Again, it's going along with that foundation, um, that foundation card, is taking what you have, all your talents, abilities, and making something with it. Okay, paying attention to, to, to little innuendos, to cues, to, to forces, to energy, okay? Um, being, you know, guided by your guides, being guided in life, just paying attention to your intuition. But this could be a woman who's playing, or a man, could, there's a green man in here also. Um, it is a three card, which is about, you know, communication, um, getting information to and from uh, you know, however it is, whether it's online, internet, whatever, but basically gathering all of your strength, all of your abilities and making something of it. And that's awesome because it's coming in here with the ace of stones, start of something solid, using your talents and your abilities to start something solid. You guys have been going through major transformations, major transformations. Some of you with career, some of you with, you know, communication, with a lot of different types of stuff, but there's been a lot of, you know, uh, personal strength, personal will. What else do we have for Aries? Second half of October. All right, we got the eight of bows. I think Aquarius got this too, hearth fire, being supported, being around people of like minds, finding support from others, hanging out with friends. It's something that has to do with feeling warmed by the company that you keep 
or finding people of like minds, of building something solid with them, working together in collaboration, finding out, finding people that have the same ideas, re-evaluating your ideas, your beliefs, all sorts of stuff, and getting the support that you need in regards to those things is what I'm getting as well. But some of you are really, you know, looking for comfort is what I'm getting from that. Comfort, warmth. And you will be finding it. You guys are really going to be getting creative here, okay? I got another one that flew out, so hang on a second. Five of bows, empowerment. All right, so let's get into these. All right, so what I'm seeing here is some of you may have been facing some obstacles, okay, challenges with other people. You guys have been through a lot, okay? This is about those obstacles challenging you in order to build personal empowerment and strength. Some of you are going to be in that fighting spirit, wanting to stand up for things that matter to you. A lot of you are actually, um, you may be coming across some difficulties or some struggles. Pluto is going to be moving uh, direct. Mercury turns retrograde all in October. Um, so if you come across any difficulties or struggles, realize that they are pushing you to personal power. Now you want to use your personal power correctly. You don't want to dominate, overbear control, all those things, because that will just come back to you when Pluto moves direct. Um, but what you really want to do is you do want to push yourself more, Aries. You guys want to get up and you got to get going and you got to start pushing forward. And if you come across any obstacles, you need to stand up for yourself and you need to overcome those obstacles. Those, pers those are challenges that are being put in your way to have you push through them. It's about building empowerment, self-empowerment. Now, for some of you, this could be an argument, a fight, or something that's coming up as well. We'll find out more. Then we got three of stones, creativity, working in collaboration with other people, tapping into your creative side. Some of you are coming up with some really cool ideas. Some of you are really rethinking things, coming up with some cool ideas, some creative ways of doing things. You're gonna be feeling a burst of creativity. Some of you could be starting a creative project in the second half of October really putting together this right here is like really tapping into your talents and starting something, especially with that ace of stones in the beginning, starting something. Okay. So let's see what this is about. Can you tell me about this ace of stones for Aries? Well, let's just say you guys are going to be kick started, amped up, ready to go. A lot of new opportunities are going to present themselves to you in the second half of October. Okay. Uh, this is really quite clear. It's the ace of bows. It's a spark of life. You're getting this energetic flow of some energy coming here where you want to get started on building solid things. Okay. Sorry about that. Starting something really solid. Okay, you're getting that life at force energy coming through to you guys, okay, to really build foundations, solid foundations, get into a, a new career, start a new project, start something new. We're going to find out more. Wow, you got, there's there's a lot of starter energy coming here. You guys are going to feel amped up. Tell me about the Ace of Bones for Aries and the Ace of Stones. Yeah, getting to that center place, getting to that balance, finding your balance here. Okay, we got the King of Stones, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And we got the Five of Vestals, Ecstasy. So you guys are going to be feeling really good. For some of you, you're going to be starting something new with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising that's going to help you build a solid foundation of some sort. This could be a new job opportunity being presented to some of you. A, a step up. There is a spark of life. Something is coming here that's going to help you build something solid. A lot of you are stepping more into a more solid energy with the King of Stones as well. But we got the bow of life, the spark of life, starting something, becoming more balanced, finding your balance, and then having points of ecstasy. Some of you, this is this, this is just really feel-good energy coming in for you, okay? Really good, positive, feel-good energy. Some of you, it could be 
starting something new and finding balance with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn starting in the second half of October. Whether it's a job or a love relationship, it's going to make you feel really good. Okay, and this is sun, moon, or rising. You have to know their birth time to know what their rising is. Wow, that's awesome. Tell me about this green woman. Wow. 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 This is a very powerful person. This person makes you feel good. This person lights you up. Okay. If this is you, Aries, you guys are going to be feeling empowered. Okay. This is the sun of life. It's basically, again, like what I was saying with the spark of life, the sun of life is you being renewed, you feeling personal power, you being able to create the life that you want through this by being able to use your personal power to get what you need and want. And that's what I'm seeing and feeling really strongly in this particular reading because I think Aquarius got this one as well. Um, and this is really coming into yourself, feeling empowered, feeling healing for those of you that have been feeling ill or not feeling so good. Confidence coming through really strongly with this green woman. If this is another person that I was telling you about earlier that just is very worldly, understands a lot of things, very insightful, very knowledgeable. This person makes you feel really, really good. We got dedication. This person is very dedicated to you. Okay. And then we got the shaman. Holy smokes. A lot of you are going to be having some universal help. Okay. And some awareness coming through awareness of your own personal abilities. And if you dedicate yourself to pushing through, you're going to accomplish a lot. You're going to be feeling really good for some of you. There is somebody that is very dedicated, could be either the green woman, again, very worldly, very capable, very knowledgeable, very insightful, somebody that can help bring out this son of life in you that's very dedicated. This person's very wise. They could be presenting themselves to you in October, the second half of October, or you may already know this person and things are evolving and becoming much more, much stronger, okay? Um, but I feel like a lot of you are really tapping into your abilities, your power, your strength, your courage, your awareness, and leveling up. That's what I want to call this reading, leveling up. You are leveling up, okay? There is, there is a new burst of energy coming through for you guys, Aries, and it's really positive. Good things are coming through. Now, this hearth fire of the collaboration, hanging around with friends, feeling good, having good times with people, meeting like minds, feeling your soul warmed through family, through friends, through having a good time, having fun. All right, we got way too many on that one. Let's we'll try this again. Tell me about the eight of bows and the hearth fire for Aries. Wow. Yeah, some of you are going to be making a really powerful connection. Now, if you already met this person, you know. This is the forest lovers. Something solid where you're bound together. You guys are perfect for each other. You can grow. Your relationship is going to bloom. You have love and respect for each other. You guys made a promise to each other or you're going to. And that's what's warming your heart. That's what's keeping you going. That might be the fire that is setting you off, Aries. But regardless of it, there's a very powerful connection. It could be a business relationship or a partner as well, where you guys are two of like minds because we got it under the hearth fire. Like minds. But I did get two other people here. We got the queen of bows, which is a fire sign, which could be you, Aries. Okay, but I feel like you're really stepping up. Look at this. You're stepping up. You're becoming aware, okay? Okay. It's the hair. It's basically, you know, knowledge, awareness, stepping up, feeling confident. I feel you guys are feeling confident. Okay. This is the queen of bows. Could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in which you are going to meet and you are going to build a solid foundation and a very powerful connection with. Okay. Some of you already met this person and you already know it. If you already met this person and you already know it, I see you guys really evaluating your relationship and really moving things to the next level. This is the page of vessels. This is emotional attachment, emotional expression, emotional feelings. Now, some of you, this could be another fire sign person that is going to be coming in and expressing their emotions to you 
and their feelings to you because they know that you are the one. They have they are they are bound to you on a soul level, emotional level, whatever it may be. I feel like you guys are going to be spending some quality time together, getting closer and developing things in a much more uh, in a better manner, okay? But for others of you, this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a younger person. Now, it depends on your age. If you're young, then this is somebody that's just like, you know, your age bracket that you could be making this connection with or you already have. Okay, and I see things firing up, getting better, developing further. You find comfort and warmth with this person. You find it, it's a very good, powerful connection going on here. Okay, so take it how it resonates. It's different for all of you. There's many different stories. You're not all involved in exactly the same thing. But these are things you can look forward to happening the second half of October. A lot of you are going to be getting communication from another fire sign. It could also be a Leo, I mean a Leo for this card particular, but we also have the wolf, which is the king of stones, a Taurus, Leo, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well coming through here. Sun, moon, or rising, or a water sign person, sun, moon, or rising, or a fire sign person, sun, moon, or rising is what I'm getting here. But there's a connection that's being made or coming back. And it it's going to be warming up, okay? And, and, and it could be a new business partnership for some of you. Let's take a look at this five of bows. Empowerment. What's going on with Aries? That's empowerment. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> we got the seer. You guys are really uh, going to be, your intuition is on fire. You are seeing behind the facade. You are seeing behind everything. Some of you are going to be having some prophetic visions. And it may be to prevent you from having any kind of struggles with others. But I feel like this is you really coming into yourself with a wealth of knowledge and strength and courage to accomplish whatever it is you want. And this is all kicking in, in the second half of October. Some of you could be involved with a seer type of individual. This person is very psychic, intuitive, insightful. They are able to tell you things. Some of you may be going to one regarding a complicated situation, okay, with this empowerment. If you've been feeling like you've been struggling, fighting, having it out with other people, some of you may be going to a, a psychic, um, but I feel like it, this is this is you just really becoming aware. Wow, we got the eight of vessels, a rebirth. Yeah, you guys are going through a massive transformation where you are rebirthing and becoming, come, stepping into your personal power. You've been through a lot of transformations, things that were built that, that came about to strengthen you, to have you stand up for yourself, to have you defend yourself, to have you protect yourself, whatever it is, to have you realize, realize your own abilities. Sorry, your own abilities here to realize, to tap into your own strength. And, 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 your, and those of you that have psychic abilities, it's going to be on fire. Okay. There is a regeneration and a rebirth occurring here. Um, in a big way where you're stepping into your power and you're just not tolerating any more stuff. You're not going to be sitting around anymore. We got the stag. This is definitely when it's an ending and a new beginning. This is a realization that maybe some of you maybe don't want to know or find out about or whatever, but it's in your benefit. It is facing your fears. It is overcoming obstacles. It is being aware of those negative influences and negative things. It is the ending of an old way and the beginning of another through awareness. It's like a judgment in a sense. And there's a rebirth occurring. You guys are really, really powering up here. Really powering up. Okay, tell me about this three of stones. Or Aries. Wow, we got celebration. Your creativity. Some of you might be going to a party. You might be, in, I mean, I know in today's times. But I feel like something's going to be making you very happy because of something creative that you come up with. This is the three of stones of creativity and celebration. The four of bows. Like something you're going to come up with or somebody's going to cue you in or you're just going to get insight or a vision or a prophetic vision or something like that. That is going to ignite your fire. 
Now, for some of you, this is a younger fire sign, the Knight of Bows, a fox, a younger fire sign, or it's the initiation, and that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you're starting something creative that's going to make you super happy. It's an idea, Aries. Think about that. An idea that you want to implement, an idea that you want to start. Your creativity is flowing, and you're going to be taking that initiative. This is about starting something creative as well. Some of you, it could be with a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that maybe comes up with the idea or maybe you come up with them with them it's going to be different again for all of you okay and we got healing okay and that's what I was feeling with this too is a lot of you are going to be feeling a lot better a lot of you are going to be working on your health wanting to take better care of yourself wanting to heal from past situations letting go of stuff you're going to be feeling a power up coming through here some of you it could be a new profession in the healing business Something creative that you're coming up with, regardless of what it is, something nurturing, healing, something like that, that you're going to be starting for some of you. But I do feel like, wow, the second half of October is a big month for a lot of people. Saturn is direct. Pluto is going to be direct. Mercury is going to go retrograde. Um, for some of you, this could be contact from an ex, a person that you had a really strong connection with, okay? They are acknowledging it. It could be another fire sign, an earth sign, or a water sign is what I'm seeing. Sun, moon, or rising. I mean, they could be an air sign, but they got water, uh, moon, or water rising, or, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? But some of you are going to be making a very powerful connection, and some of you are moving that connection forward. So it's going to be different for all of you, but there's a lot of positive things happening. This challenging situation or this is has brought you to a point where you're just no longer taking any nonsense. You're stepping into your personal power and you're taking action. Now, for some of you, it could be some drama. Okay, it could be. It could, but I'm not feeling it, but it could be. And if it is, you're ending that. You're ending that and there's a rebirth coming through where you now see things for what they are and you are ready. And go with your instincts. Go with your intuition, Aries. You guys are on fire. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much. Do check back for my other reading, which is going to be a situation reading, which very well could cover a love relationship um, as well as a particular situation. I use a whole different deck for that one, but this is an overall overview for the second half of October. I'm sending you guys positive energy. Remember, Mars is retrograde in your signs. There's a lot of revisiting, going back over, redoing, figuring things out, trying to get clarity. Um, but you guys are going to be on fire once it goes direct, okay, in November. You're going to be totally on fire. Things are going to start be moving forward. But the second half of October looks like it's already in progress, okay? A lot of you may already be here. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like your own personal reading, visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. I love you guys. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. Thank you so much for all your love and support and for being with me through all these times. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Until next time.